My name is Matt Wolf. I've been with Titan for about maybe two to three years. Stop by do blood. When I started with Titan, I was 325 to 315. I'm now standing about 250, so I'm doing pretty good. I'm traveling the world. All right, and I recommend Titan to all my friends and family. Matt Wolf, good to see you. This is the man right here. This is the man. Always calling in, always tuning in to the show every week. He's been with Titan for how many years now? About two, three years. Two, three years. Is how much weight have you lost? Though? That's the real thing. 315, 325 to 255. 315, 325 to 255. So that's like 65 pounds this guy has lost. He's looking great. He's feeling great. He just got his blood work done. We do blood work in-house now. He travels a lot and he still makes it happen. He's been to Anchorage. He's been all over the world, right? Inchon, Belgium. Yeah, he travels all over the world. So you guys say if you travel too much, you don't have time. He's made the time. He travels all over the world. He's lost like 70 pounds. And he's been with us for two or three years. And he makes time to tune in every week. Titan Lifestyle with me and John on Fridays at 2 p.m. Check out Matt Wolf. I'm Big Drew. Happy to have him here. I'm going to get him fitted up with some more clothes just now. We're right here at 912 Channel Side Drive. And again, we do blood work in house now. So come see us. Let's go. What's up guys? Saturday night, fight night, WCFL with my good friend Rafael Garcia who puts on these awesome events all the time. This one's amateur and pro, so we're going to see some good fights. And I know we've already seen some good fights today, so it's been a hell of a day, right? Oh yeah, we have some female fights. We had the first transgender fight that we ever had today. That I heard was pretty oh, interesting. Yeah, we got a lot of feedback on that. And now we're on the pros <laughs> and doing some kid uh, grappling matches for these kids that are studs, uh, Gavin and Jack from Omega MMA. Oh, nice, nice. Cool. What, a, what a good, nice, nice little combination going Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Right? All inclusive here. All inclusive. We got everybody. So guys, look at some of the behind the scenes and check out some of the video we're going to have from WCFL Fight Night, Saturday Night. Let's go. Let's also, go guys, you know Titan's in the house because the Lambo <laughs> is in the front. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always, man, always. God, let's show some love. Let me know if you guys need anything, and I'll be around. I'll get you guys with the admission. So, perfect. Yeah. Go, let's do this. Hello guys, how are you doing? My name is John, I'm from Titan Medical Center. This is my beautiful wife, Sharice. And guys, we can help you guys look better, feel better, perform better. Whatever you guys are trying to accomplish, health or fitness wise, Titan Medical Center can help you guys out. 
for bone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers, IVs, peptides, and blood work. We can help you out wherever you're at in the country nationwide. All right, guys, we're located in Channel 5. If you guys need anything, especially the fires out there, we have something called Hercules Potion, and it's going to help with the recovery. You know, we got some good stuff. Blood work, blood, blood work. Blood work, make sure you come in. We'll get the fire panel done. It's 50 bucks. Can't beat that. That's right. Okay. And I do want to give a special shout out to my dude right here. I oh, love yeah. him so, so much. And you guys, Woo! That's right. Thank you. All right, guys, throw off the Titan shirts in the ground. So that's it, and it's a wrap for tonight. WCFL Titan Medical Center with an awesome event put on by Ralph Del Garcia. Like always, Titan Medical Center represented, and you know we always do. So if you guys want to come out and check out an awesome event next time, WCFL, MMA, you know how we do it all day long. And you know what? Titan Medical Center is going to be here giving out free giveaways and the Titan Nets, and we'll be here too as well. So we'll see you at the next WCFL event, the Titan Medical Center. See you guys. Hey guys, it's Cass, nurse practitioner with Titan Medical Center. I want to talk to you guys today about hormones, testosterone in particular. So I have a lot of questions from friends, family, and my patients. Should I test my hormones? Well, that's a great question. I think the answer is yes. So some may ask, what are the symptoms of low testosterone? Well, some of the symptoms may be being tired constantly, being irritable, depressed, and not interested in events with friends and family, decreased muscle mass and strength, slower recovery, decreased sexual health, sexual dysfunction, weight gain. Those are all some of the signs of low testosterone. We as human beings, naturally, our testosterone can decrease with age, illnesses, with medication and lifestyle choices such as you know being overweight, obesity, lack of exercise. So some of the benefits of balancing out your hormones such as your testosterone can be increasing your quality of life, being able to enjoy friends and family and you know events around you more often, also having better energy levels, being less irritable, increasing your sexual health, increasing overall wellness, decreasing fat, increasing muscle mass, increasing muscle gain, decreasing insulin resistance. So evaluating if you are deficient on your hormones is achieved with a simple blood test. We can know where your levels fall. We'll find out in a few days. We can put together a plan to balance out your hormones and bring back the happiness and you know vitality to your life. Give us a call, 727-389-3220. I'd love to help you out. And once again, guys, stay strong and stay healthy out there. What's up, guys? John here from Titan. And today I want to talk about something that gets brought up a lot by male patients in particular. And that is erectile dysfunction. So erectile dysfunction is a very common thing. And a lot of people don't want to talk about it, right? They're, they're either embarrassed, their ego, whatever it may be, they might feel less of a man. So they, don't, they just don't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about it with their partner. They don't want to talk about it with a medical provider. You know, they're in denial in some circumstances. Um, they just don't want to hear it or, or feel about it or even care. So let's talk about erectile dysfunction. So erectile dysfunction, it affects over 30 million guys in the United States. Maybe more, because that's just the people that are talking about it, okay? The second thing is, is it's not a part of aging. So 
it doesn't matter how old you are. Now, the research does show that if you're over 40, you're in a higher risk of having erectile dysfunction. But that's not because of aging. That's usually because of health issues. And that's one of the main things that causes erectile dysfunction. Right? So poor circulation, blood flow, that, that's affecting your erections. That's one of the biggest ones. Now, being obese, this is another high-risk category for erectile dysfunction. You know, being obese, over 25 on your BMI in particular, you're at a very, very high risk for erectile dysfunction. Now, there's other things that affect erections, okay? So let's talk about some of those different ones, like alcohol, drugs, okay? Stress, anxiety, high cholesterol, diabetes, heart disease, smoking all these different things and there's a lot more okay there's just some of the different ones I want to name because those are the most common things that people deal with every day or are, are, are doing okay and when you're doing these different things or have these different issues going on this is not only gonna affect your health but as guys it's gonna affect our erections and this can affect us in a lot of different ways in our life and by having erectile dysfunction it could cause issues with your self-confidence it can cause issues with your partner per se because you're not performing, they want to know why, what's going on, what's the problem, is it me, that's, you know, that's what the wife and girlfriend usually say. You know, at that point, you might feel even more embarrassed. You're like, man, what do I do about this? Like, I just don't know what to do. I don't know why this is happening to me. So when you look at the different things that you're doing in your lifestyle, or do you have some of these different health conditions? And if you do have some of these different health conditions, like I named, you know, talk to your medical provider. You know, talk to somebody that can actually help you with libido enhancement because it's a part of, of your life, right? The quality of life is to have good sexual function for yourself, for your partner. You want to make sure that you're good to go, okay? So when we talk about different medications, I'm not talking about drugs I'm talking or illicit drugs. I'm talking about medications like for depression. These different medications can cause erectile dysfunction, and it's not your fault. You may have serious depression. And you may need these medications so you feel all right, okay? So if you have to take these depression medications or antidepressants, then at that point, you need to talk to your medical provider about possible libido enhancement. Somebody that's gonna help you, you know, have erections and be confident in the bedroom. Now, sometimes it really doesn't come down to erectile dysfunction physically, but some people have erectile dysfunction mentally. Okay, and it might be an insecurity or something that happened to them previously in their life, some sort of stressful event that could cause problems in the bedroom. That's not your fault either. Now, if you guys are just tired of your partner or you're angry at your partner and that's one thing, that's a whole different story. But there was something that happened in the past that could be mentally blocking you to having good sexual function, you may need a libido enhancer. So don't be ashamed. That's the big point out there. There's people out there that can help you guys. At Titan Medical Center, we can help you guys. We have all different powerful combinations you know, for all different types of people. No matter what your, your status is or what your health status is, we can help you guys so we can improve your quality of life. Because you want your partner feeling good, you want to feel good, and you want that self-confidence there, right? So we can help you guys and we can provide that. So if you guys are looking for libido enhancement, if you guys think you have erectile dysfunction and you want to talk to somebody, then you guys should call or text us at Titan. The number is 727-389-3220. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and Sharice are giving you guys those awesome tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite those, you know, diminished flames or hopefully take your relationship to a whole new level of enlightenment and better, right? You want to be better. So we're trying to get you guys there. So each week, we're going to go in depth in some of these tips or tricks or some of the things that will help you guys. And maybe you're not in a relationship right now, but it will help you in your future relationship. And hopefully, you guys will be successful in the future. So this week, we want to cover communication. Now, technically, we cover this in every single episode. This is true. We, we bring up the word communication at least once. I could probably go back in every episode and bring it up. Absolutely. But communication is key, right? It's like one of the most important things in a relationship outside of probably, you know, 
what we'll just call it sex and love relationship business relationship <laughs> and life your kids whoever you're talking to your work whatever it is communication is key and yes. vital and the way that you communicate is another big a big way that you know if they're going to be able to hear what you're saying or listen to what you're saying that's a whole different thing right because you know you might be in the situation where you're starting to tell somebody something and it's just falling on deaf ears. You tell them over and over and over and they just don't get the hint or don't get the point or just keep doing what you told them you really don't like them to do, right? Or what you want to do possibly. Yeah, right? or yeah, it's, it could be the other way around. It could, it could be, be like even yeah. something like, or maybe you're trying to get something out of them and they're not talking to you. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's, why, why aren't you talking to me? Or you might say everything's just fine and we all know it's not fine when you're, you know acting weird and have, a lot of people have a different way of communicating to people right where some people would want to just talk to them briefly some people they sugarcoat things and kind of go around the subjects to maybe bring it out of the other person some people yell at people and they think that that's going to get their point across even more too as well um you know there's another couple of different ways you can do it where you can text somebody or you can write them a personal letter i think honestly i do the letter thing still right so you know whether it's good or bad right because even good things if you want to communicate good things you can tell somebody that you love them i love you every day i love you love you love you love you love you you know you're my world blah 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 right but when you write it in a piece of paper i feel like even just like reading it right yep. and just kind of even reading it to yourself or reading out loud to yourself it just kind of hits you in a different spot, right? So the same thing goes for if you're having issues with your significant other, right? And you're trying to get your point across and they're just not understanding. Or maybe they're only listening to a quarter of what you're saying. Mm -hmm. If you give them a letter, majority of the time, guys, people don't do this thing where they like read like five words and then skip five words and then read five words and skip five words. They're going to read it all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Usually mm -hmm. most people do anyway. So they're going to read it and hopefully maybe without you, maybe, maybe you, let's just call it what it is. Maybe you've just been yapping so much that it really is just falling on deaf ears. So at this point, maybe they actually will process what you're trying to say because they're reading it and they're like, okay, well maybe, maybe it comes across differently. Even some people, cause this took me a long time. This took me probably I want to say almost 10 years, right? So, for 14, 15, yeah, about 10 years. It took me about 10 years to come to a point with John, right, <laughs> where I didn't talk a certain way when I was, like, upset about something or if something bothered me, right? I, I so, when he first met me, I'm telling you, I was so quick to fly off the handle. It didn't, it didn't matter what it was. It was just, like, zero to a million, not even zero to a hundred, zero to a million. You had no chance to speak at all, and it would just be like, rah, 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 rah. and it would be like, he'd be like, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. First of all, first you, you need to calm down, okay? Yeah, yeah. So let's let's have you calm down. And then after you calm down, then we can talk. And I'm just... Ah! That's all you'd hear, right? I'm, I'm actually talking, but this is all he hears. All he hears is... Ah! He didn't hear, you know what? I was really upset about this, 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 and this. And I was mad, and he's not hearing any of that. All he's hearing is just screaming. So... I have come to a point in the relationship where I know how to speak to my husband for the majority of the time anyway, unless I'm just way off the handle, which is like once a year, you know, it's not that bad. But, you know, I, I really think that letters like hit home. I do. Because you can kind of maybe even something you weren't able to speak to, mm -hmm. like say to their face, because mm -hmm. sometimes not to say that people don't have the, you know, the guts to do it but sometimes you may not have the guts to say something to somebody's face so then you put in a letter not to say that that makes you any lesser or weaker of an individual but maybe maybe you need to write it down right write it down and give it to them and put just honestly guys please don't make it awkward and like hand them a letter in like an envelope or something while you sit there and watch them read it because that is read so this. awkward okay don't do that Hey, warning, do not sit there and watch them read the letter, okay? That is so awkward, okay? Awkward. Awkward, for sure. Awkward. Um, but anyways, just leave it somewhere where you know that they're going to see it 
after you are gone. <laughs> Literally, make sure you are like going to work or you are leaving the house to go shopping or you're going to the grocery store or you're going somewhere where they can read it alone, right? So guys, I mean, think about what, what they got to brush their teeth. They got to put on deodorant. John's got to put on his jewelry. Jeez. I mean, there's a lot of places you can put this thing that he's going to find it or she's going to find it yeah. at some point in time in that little window of you being gone. Yeah, for sure. I agree 100%. And like Sharice said, I mean, it could be good things and bad things and or bad things, I should say. Because, I mean, you just don't want it to be every time there's a problem. I mean, obviously you want to talk about it, right? And, and get it cleared up, whatever the issue is. So you guys can both move on and everybody's over the issue. Uh, but the good things, too, as well. So not every time they see a letter, it's going to be, oh, my God, what did I do now? Not the letter. That, right? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I can always tell if I'm going to be in trouble by the way Sharice tells me something. Like, you know, like, I need to talk to you now. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Like, this is, what, what's going on now? Like, yeah, it's, you know? not, it's not, hey, can I talk to you real quick? It's, I need to speak with you. Yeah, now. 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 So that, that's another one. But, you know, Sharice has definitely let me, like, you know, letters in the bathroom, uh, you know, I love you, or, you know, it's, you know, little love notes and stuff like that, which are awesome, right? Because people like that, too, and, and that builds spirit, builds morale. You know, it's more of a bonding thing, too. It brings you closer to that person, I think. But, uh, you know, I think that communication is key. And um, when there is an issue, and let's say you've said it over and over and over, you've told somebody three or four times you didn't want to do this or you did want to do something, whatever it is, right? Because there's a whole bunch of different issues that you guys could be bringing up. And it affects you in different ways, right? But at that point, like, you should definitely be able to talk to them. And if you're getting in front of somebody, and like Sri said, you just can't break it down or you right. just can't bring yourself to tell them, mm -hmm. then you definitely need to write them a note, write them a text message, something out there um, where you can communicate it to them and they can read it in their own style yeah. and at their own pace and maybe absorb it that way. Um, and like Shree said, like, you know, stick to the points, right? Don't go off and start going into all these different circles <laughs> in other areas. And there, and there's a five page letter you're, in the reading. You're mad about one thing and then it goes into like five other things that are just totally off point. Um, you know, people's tension spans, the tension spans are small, right? It's limited. And that's everybody out there. I don't care yeah. who you are. <laughs> and the younger you are, they say the, you know, the less time shorter, you have, the, the yeah, shorter, shorter time, the time you have span. is your tension span. So you know, with your kids and stuff like that, you got to communicate a little bit faster, right? More to the point. Get to the point. What's what? What is the point of your conversation? I say that all the time. <laughs> Johnny used to do this to me all What's the going time. Going on, I'm like, all right, so all right, <laughs> let, let's get to the point, right? All right let, come on. He's like, and then I would get mad at him because I'm like, you're not listening to me, and he's like, I've been listening to you for literally 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. He's like, and I just all I'm asking is for you to just get to the point. Like, what are you mad about? What's the issue? What are we trying to accomplish <laughs> this here? Is you, this, I, this is this is not now. This is definitely back then. Yeah, for sure. Now I I really am like to the point. Like, hey, let's talk real quick. And you know, it's because I'm either tired yeah. or busy. Yeah. So this has been great for our relationship being busy, you but. Know, and I, I think, don't do it. Don't I, drag it I out. Think, uh, yeah, don't try to drag it out, right? Because, like I said, attention spans. And, you know, at that point, once you guys kind of find what works for you guys communication-wise, you guys will be able to utilize that in the future. And then whatever issues come up or good things or whatever it is, you guys can communicate this way. And it, it, it's, it's good on both sides, right? Um, because the yelling is not going to do it, all right? People get upset. I understand why you, you get to the point where you yell, you're frustrated, and you think that this is the only way or... They won't eat talk and they're talking over you and you have to go up a level higher in your voice and no. they do the exact same yeah. and then just gets to a screaming match and then yeah. where have you guys gotten now you guys right. are in this big old fight that could be over this little thing that could have been you know talked about and accomplished and communicated about very easily and simply and you guys move on with your day without this dragged out dramatics okay because <laughs> listen some people like dramatics and drama and all oh, that i don't that. so i'm, I'm just like listen whatever it is like i just don't want any drama what can I do to fix this situation? Or what did I do wrong? So I can learn from a mistake. But some people, they just don't they don't get it or they just don't want to hear it. That's another side mm. of it. Your partner's got to want to hear it too. Yeah, true. Because if they don't, they're just like, oh, whatever, screw you. I'm out the door. And then they leave. Like you haven't communicated your point. Like they won't do it. You try to send them a text message. Oh, whatever. They send you back. Like it, you, then you feel really frustrated because you've tried to verbally communicate to them. You've wrote, wrote, written them a text message or maybe even a letter. And, you know, letters they didn't respond to you, whatever it may be. 
So, I mean, it's got to be on their side too as well. Like when you do communicate to somebody, they got to want to be able to accept what you're, what you're telling them. Yeah. Um, and not just push it off too as well. And if they're not, then listen, you guys need to work on whatever it is, why they're not doing that. And if that doesn't come around. Then, you know, maybe it ain't going to work Then it out. might not be a good fit anymore. But you at know? least try. But you definitely got to try. And the only way that you get these points across and that you try your best is when you communicate. Because if you hold it in and you don't tell them, they're you not going to be able to read your up. mind. You like bottle a little, up. little baby genie. Frustration. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> after the littlest thing they do. Rah! Yeah, it, it's a nuclear explosion, dude. And then you're going at them at like 12 different ways of why you're upset. And, why you're and then you're mad. like, what? And you got your partner over here like, you're like what? I, I thought you were just mad about the laundry. Yeah, like, where, all of a sudden where's it's all like, this coming from? And you did this and you did that. And, you know, a week ago and I didn't like that. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's take this back to the laundry. Like, why didn't you tell me? Well, I did try to tell you. That, that's the thing. So, yeah. you know, make sure you make it a point. To tell your partner, hey, listen, this is important to me. I need you to listen to me. And at that point, they should want to sit down and be like, all right, what's going on? Um, and then get to the point. Like I said, don't don't just do dramatics. Don't bring up all this other stuff. Get to the point at what you want to do. And then find out what you guys can do to get over the problem issue or whatever the communication is and move on so you guys can have success in your relationship. Yes. I think that's key. So communication is key. Communicate. 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 Try communicate. different ways of communication if you need to. Verbal communication might not always work. You can make a video and leave it to them or send it to them on their phone. You can text them. You can write them a Be personal Be easy message. with those text messages, guys. Yeah. Because, I mean, listen, sometimes I will say because it – I'm going to say this because I truly believe this, right? Because back, I grew up in days where I, there was no cell phones, yeah. right? So then you had to write a letter. But I do feel like when you have to like physically handwrite out something, I feel like you might think about it twice yeah. if you decide to just, you know, even if you talk to text and you're texting the whole thing, it's gonna, it might come out the same exact way mm. or even worse. Oh, for sure. And then somebody's reading it totally incorrect. How many text messages have you sent to somebody? And they're like, I didn't mean it like that <laughs> right and that's a problem sometimes with writing things down or texting people yeah that they they read it and they read it how they want to read it yeah so, they, so be careful they think like oh this person's attacking me even more on this and they get very defensive about it so yeah just be easy about it just Make read sure. it read it back to yourself yeah. before you send it absolutely read it back to yourself before you give them the letter so absolutely. it makes sense and watch for your, you know, spelling. Want to communicate. Errors. Don't be defensive if you, you possibly can. not You don't <laughs> want to be like that. Come in there with an open mind. Talk to them. Hopefully, they'll do the same. Reciprocate, and you guys can have a successful communication and relationship. So, guys, this is just another tip and trick for me and Sharice to you guys. Trust me, we've uh, we've definitely vetted this one out for a long, long time. Uh, you know, it's Poor John. still working its way to perfection. Poor John. I feel bad for John. And, you know, I know that he loves me. Like, he really, <laughs> truly loves me. This is true. This Thank is true. God. God bless. Uh, so, guys, join us every week for Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. on ABC. If you guys didn't watch it live, make sure you DVR it. Or check out YouTube for all the episodes there and all of our other cool content. Make sure you guys are checking out the website, tightmedicalcenter.com. And go follow us and like us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and all the great things in the metaverse that are coming. <laughs> we're going to be there with you guys. All right? We love you. We'll see you next week for Cupid's Corner. And we're out. <laughs>